Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the newest patch. I'm on my Stamina Arcanist with a range setup, a front bar tarnish nightmare, a proc set without delay, gives us the extra damage we need, works pretty fine on range setup, back bar rally cry for the extra crit resistance and weapon spell damage, death is feed us with 120 and the blood spawn for the extra tankiness. So setup wise nothing too crazy here. Armor types too heavy, then 4 medium and 1 light sash with 1 reinforced, 1 sturdy and the rest full well fitted so more a dodge kind of playstyle. Full prismatic would be best in slot. I have 2 stamina glyphs here, I'm out of gold that's why. Then full infused on the jewelry with 1 magica recovery, 1 prismatic and 1 weapon spell damage. The magica recovery is needed, we have a ton of magica abilities to sustain. Front by a sharpened bow with the flame damage enchant and back by nice stuff in defending with the escape is poisons. Instead of tarnish nightmare you have multiple choices here you could also go with wear of fire. The Tsumor has the same damage but has less burst potential and instead of rally cry something like wretched vitality for sustain is also possible or instead of bloodspawn a balorg or rocks are the warp if you have sustain issues. I prefer bloodspawn as one we explore gives us tankiness and even ulti regen. Quick look on the skills, not much has changed on the skills. Only Lethal Arrow is new, Arcanist always slag on a good spam build, you have the Green Beam and Rune Blades, but they are kind of joke to be honest. So that's why I'm using a bow with Lethal Arrow, it's a good amount of damage, has 45 meters range, allows us to keep distance. The biggest problem of a melee build is you have to push, right? you have to stay close to your opponents. With a range setup like this, you can keep your distance while killing enemies, a really effective and comfortable playstyle, especially as one EX player. Skola ship on the front bar for the major brutality buff. Make sure to use it on the front bar. Thanks to this passive here, Splintered Secrets, we gain always 1k penetration if we slot a Herald of the Tome ability. A duration, our CC, which also applies minor wool, 5% extra damage. The Thero, like I said before, also procs the minor defy effect, 6% less healing, and reduce also the shield strength, plus the poison status effect. Flail for the extra 5% increased damage, I also use it as execute, generates crux, and even heals. Karma Hunter for the major savagery buff, minor berserk, and extra 3% weapon damage, thanks to this juicy fighter skill passive slayer. As offense food to mid, tight king's gaze, a turtle fuse ballista here, or dawn breaker, backed by Inisars for the three powerful tennis effects and major breach, 6k penetration, race against time for minor force, major expedition and a snare removable, vigor is powerful healing over time ability, also minor reserve, 3k armor, imperious wound ward, probably the strongest shield out there, basically one second immortality, and even as a burst heal, especially with three crux, heals like crazy. Crux Weaver Armor, our resistance buff, which also procs a minor breach, and as defense ultimate that boosts the C, 60% damage mitigation, really strong. Ray Stammer, you know it, my favorite hybrid. Race with X weapon damage, spell damage, magic and stamina, and the flame resistance. Mundus the Serpent for extra stamina recovery, smoke behind just buff food. Bamp stage 3, you know it, for the undeath passive, gives us the extra tankiness we need. Add 3 points, 40 points into health, the rest is stamina. Like this, I'm at around 30k HP -ish without the Undaunted passive and without the Feed Stacks. The Feed Stacks are around 33k HP. Potions, the normal tricep potion, and CP is pretty basic with Daddy Aim, Raw for Strikes, do a speed buff and Ironclad, 2 damage CPs and 2 damage mitigation CPs, and Red CPs is by Suffering Pain, Seafood Celebrity, and Slippery. You could also use Survival Instincts, but since I'm on NA as a U player, I always play with almost a 200 ping, so it's pretty hard to see break sometimes. Rotation, start to pre-buff yourself with Scholarship, Race Against Time and Resistance buff, also Vigor for Minor Reserve, start to apply Inisas, Flail, Adoration into Ultimate, into Lethal Arrow Spams. If your target is in Execute range, use Flail as Execute. That's it with another PvP build, if you have questions type them down below or add me on Discord. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.